Hello, crafty friends. This is the Paper Chef here. Welcome to part three of my annual catalog swaps. These are swaps I received when I was on my incentive trip to Norway recently. And I have lots of other fun things like some swag and some happy mail to show you. Now these, <clears throat> what happened to my voice here? Because I wasn't talking for a while, so I was, I was by myself, so I just didn't know my voice was so scratchy. So let me take a drink. Anyway, these swaps are really fun because we were able to see everybody's swaps. There were over 100, I believe. I made 25 of my swaps, car, swap cards and 25 of my 3D projects. Here were my swap cards. These are what I turned in. And then in turn, I got back 20. I turned in 26. They put one up on the board, on the swap board. We got to see everybody's swaps. And then we get back 25 different swaps. So we don't get back swaps from everybody who made them which is fine. You know, we get still get to see everybody's. And then for the 3D, this was my 3D swap. Contains nuts. These are Hershey nuggets. And so then I was able to get back 25 of the swaps from 3D. So let's review for a moment that we did two other parts of this. In part one, we had a super fun time, opened up all these swaps. And I was really inspired by this one here. Okay, this one here, Jane Stool, Stull. Not sure how to say her name. She, and I already eaten whatever candy she had in there. Isn't that fun? It's a little purse. Then I did a whole tutorial in part three of my Zany Zoo workshop series on how to make these purses. Then I went ahead and made a load of these purses. And this is what I'm going to be using for an upcoming event next Saturday. These are my 3D swaps. So, so you could see why we swap. I wanted to show you this because this is important. The, the whole thing is I got her swap. I was like, oh, I need to make a 3D item. And I make 3D items all the time. I have like 100 in my repertoire or whatever. But it was fun to see something different and new, and I just changed it up. I'm using the Glorious Gingham, the Brush Brass Butterflies, and the this one is called the Sending Smile. I'm not Sending Smiles. Sorry, it's not Sending Smiles. This is this month's card club, Circle Sayings. I, I saw the word smile, and I said Circle. Circle Sayings is what we're using for this month's card club. If you want to sign up for the card club, it's not too late. You can go by the month or subscribe. The link is in the description of this video. So anywho, we're not, we're not doing these in card club. I'm just trying to show you that we're using the same stamp set that I used for this, the Smile stamp set. So these are a 3D swap I'm giving out. And I got all these like chocolates when I was overseas. Recently, I bought these limited or lint Swiss premium chocolates and I bought some Cadbury chocolates when I was in London. So anyway, that's what I put inside here. Although yesterday I gave these out and the chocolates, not these exact ones, but some other ones and the chocolates were melting. So I'm going to have to put my 3D items in a cooler. So this glorious gingham and it has all these colors. So anyway, I just wanted to show you my 3D swaps. I'm working on these for this coming weekend. And when I run out of butterflies, I think I'll use like some opal rounds. Or something. These are little clutch purses. So that's why we swap. We're inspired. We make things. And that's what we do. All right. So now let's talk about these swaps here. So we're going to open up. And we'll do the daisies first, I suppose. Now, I, on the second part of this workshop, on the, the second part, I went through all these swaps. And I did show another one of these monkey ones, which is really cool. So we went through all these swaps and more. So go back and watch those two parts and really be inspired. Because I've already started making... You guys wanted to know how to make the glue box, and I've already played with, around with that, but I might point you in the direction of another tutorial or try it myself. It's just amazing, guys. It's amazing. All right, let me, let me get my act together. Here we go. This is the one I want to show you because a lot of them are made from this. So here's a suite called Fresh as a Daisy Suite Collection. You get the whole suite for this one price with this product number, or you can buy things individually like the... Let's see what these are called. These are... Adhesive solid, back solid gems. Fresh as a daisy, designer series paper. Or cheerful daisies bundle. So let's just start opening up stuff that was made with this cheerful daisies bundle. And keep saying hi. I see you coming in. Lots of fun today. We're going to have lots of fun seeing all the different things. And to be inspired. Okay, this is really cute. This is a little tea holder. And she actually decorated right onto the tea bag with the fresh as a daisy. I like how this daisy layers. One, two, three layers. I like the little tag. See how she used this, and looks like she used, look at uh, Azure, af Azure Afternoon Lemon Lime Twist 
for the ribbon and this little piece here and the lemon lolly color. Okay, so that's really cute. And that little tag punch I'm using on one of my bingo things as well. I think it's called the handmade tag punch. So that's really cute little 3D swap. Okay, we'll keep going and we'll do another 3D one. Looks like also made from Fresh as a Daisy. The paper has a lot of variety to it. Oh, I want to see also if it has the person's name. See, I like to give credit. Maybe it's on the back here. Here it is. Okay, here. I like how she did that. She put her name on the back here. So, Sa 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 Saka. Saka Wilson. Okay, Saka Wilson. At first, I wanted to say Sarah because, but it's like S A C A H. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, now we have a, looks like a post it note holder. You see? It's like Christmas. I'm opening these with these, opening these for the first time. Oh, love that die. I'm not even sure which die that came from, but I love, it looks like one. So here's some post-its and it says bling everything bling. Jill Nolan. I think I have a card from her too. As a matter of fact, because I think I just saw that name and I'm just going to post the, put the post-its back in there. They fell off there and I'm thinking there's a magnet hidden under that. Oh, I like that. Hear that? Feel that flop? There's a magnet in there. And the magnet's hidden, so that's kind of classy. I wonder how she hid the magnet. Okay, I'm thinking she hid it under the DSP. Under this. Let's see how far up it goes. The magnet's right up there, so it's hidden right under the DSP. So that's kind of slick how she hid the magnet. Okay, so once again, in case you missed that, that was Jill Nolan. All right, so cool. And we're going to keep doing, we're going to keep on working on these ones. We're going to, wishing you the brightest birthdays is another Fresh as a Daisy one. Made by Dawn's Creative Chalet, Dawn Bourget, Bourg Bourget, John Bourget, Michigan. Okay, let's see what she came up with, what Dawn came up with. Looks like Lemon Lolly paper. I mean, Lemon Lolly cardstock, Lemon Lolly with this um, sentiment. I like how she layered the daisy, and there's that really cool sprig, and I like how she just kind of tilted the other designer shape paper, little piece of pebbled path in the background there. Everything coordinates. That's pebbled path as well. You can see lemon lolly here, lemon lolly here. Pebbled path ink, pebbled path there, pebbled path there. See, these are things you're going to notice, you know, with the colors and everything, that how everything coordinates. So when you, want, when you have a bunch of different colors in a project, you want to bring in Little tiny bit of this, like there's Pebble Path again. So you bring in little bits of the colors in the different spots. All right, looks like we have a lot of Fresh as a Daisy projects. Let's see what else we have under here. Was Here's another one, and this might be one from there too. Yes, both of these are from there. Now, because a lot of you are on here, and I'm going to say hi, do any of you know which die this is from? Because I couldn't, I went to the back of the catalog and I couldn't find this die. And it looks like a nice layer. Maybe it was from the mini catalog. I'm not really sure. So if anybody knows what die this is from, the one with the, it, it's like a frame and it looks like sun rays. All right. So let me go ahead and say hello. And I'm going to open this one up. It's okay. First one here was Hilda. Hello. Okay. It's really neat. This is, um, it's, um, what would this be? Orchid Oasis. Okay. Here we go. This is from Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. Michigan, and a lot of Michigan friends here. Amy Frilisi. Amy, Amy Frilisi. 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 Okay. So, I'm Amy Frilisi. Okay, that's cute. All right. Well, I could always ask her, but I, I'm just asking you because we can then find out right away because I'd like to know what products we're using. All right. So, hello, Kathy Smith. We said hello to Hilda. Hello, Linda from Stamp Cut and Create. I got your package today, and I'm going to share some of it tonight. Hello, ML Benson, La La's Crafts, which is Phyllis. Hello, Lou, loving the 3D projects. And Phyllis is saying she loves these dashes. Okay, I'm really loving, like, the layers and how everything is so, like, symmetrical and stuff. And I love the Orchid Oasis. You have the color Orchid Oasis back here with another layer of Fresh Freesia. Then you have the Orchid Oasis in here with the, with the inside with Fresh Freesia. See how that ties in? 
the colors tie in. I noticed all these things. Then we have, it looks like pool party ink with pool party background, and then a little piece of orchid oasis twine. So everything ties in. These colors repeat. Every time a color is used, the elements, the, the colors used two times, that's a true professional there. Oh, thank you, Hilda. Okay. So Hilda's saying it's one of the online exclusives. How did I miss these things? I didn't get that one. Thank you for letting me know, Hilda. It's an online exclusive. So that's what this item is. It's an online exclusive item. That's why I can't find it in the catalog. Remember, we have online exclusive items, which are pretty cool. All right. Let's see. Okay, let me put that one back in there. And hello, Dawn. Nice to see you. Am I even done doing all those so many daisies? Oh, here's another daisy one. All right. So one, two, three, four, just in the spatch alone. If you're liking this paper, by the way, this uh, Fresh as a Daisy, it's 15% off right now. Hello, Phil from Florida. Everyone, not, not everyone, but all the main designer series papers, they're all 15% off. The main meaning not specialty. This is from Melissa Ellis. Ooh, Gold Elite. She's way up there in the ranks of leadership stamping up. Melissa Ellis, Gold Elite Demonstrator. And is that, let me guess, Michigan? Nope, Virginia. Okay, <laughs> just guessing. So many Michigan. This is really cool. It's that really fun embossing folder. Let me let me show you that embossing folder. All right, I think we've all we're daisied out here. Not daisied out, but let me show you this embossing folder. I'm getting off the daisy page. This here, it's is it quatre, not quatrefoil? It's the other one. I think it's this one. Countryside blossoms. Check this out. How she embossed the back of that. That's really cool, right? I like how she layered up this piece of DSP. And put a piece here. Let's see if it comes out or something. Yes. This comes out. Ooh, nice. Because I was, I was thinking it doesn't open, so it's a nice little pocket card. And, you, and the reason you could tell it comes out is this little piece. It looks like she used that little punch for that. Those little tag punches. To do the corners. I really like that. Or maybe it was a die. I like the twine. I like the layering. And then there's a piece of early espresso in the back here. Super cool. So that was Melissa. I like when things are different. You know, it gives you different ideas, and we get inspired. All right. Let's see if there's anything else I want to show you with the embossing. Okay, yeah. This is an online exclusive. This embossing folder right here in this picture, you can see it. It looks like little sea stars to me. That's what it'll make. Is It'll make this. This is an online exclusive item called the Basics 3D Embossing Folders. And this one is made by Tina Kier... Crid, oh boy, I'm going to butcher that one. How do you say when there's no vowels? Kriv, kriv, krivjik. All right, Northern Stamper. She's way up there in the north, she's in Canada. All right, so Tina, very cool card. And this this looks like, well, I forget which blossoms they are. You guys are going to be able to tell me now. You see, I can just look on this. Let me move these daisies out of the way and see on um, this index here because I didn't I was away this weekend so I didn't have time to look up all of the different products but I was saving some of these swaps to open later because I didn't have time to open them all so I'm thinking it's one of these like floral sets so if we can't find it quickly we'll just move on but I mean it reminds me of the Regency Park I'm just seeing if it was something possibly new a new floral set Nope. So maybe it's Regency Park. I'm just going to guess. And the happy birthday, though, that looks like our, that looks like from here. Yes, it is. This is the circle saying, so that's a really nice font. That's what I'm using this month. This one from the, for our card club. All right, so nice job, Tina. And did she stick that on there? Interesting. What did she stick it on there with? Stuck on there. Kind of like the stuff that you that holds the credit cards in place, you know, like that little sticky stuff. Her card is staying in place in there. And she used, again, this is Orchid Oasis again. That's the color we saw a minute ago with this card here, right? Look at the Orchid Oasis, how pretty that color is. Oop, we almost skipped this one. Now this one is a returning stamp set, but it's still in the catalog and I already forgot the name. Super cool though. I know you guys are going to know it. Wait, here it says it right here. In the moment. In the moment stamp set. So we look and see if we can find is the index here. 
In the Moment, page 96. I like, really like when demonstrators do this during a swap. I really like when they put down the page, you know, not the page number, but the name of the product so you can find it. All right, so let's see who did this one. Maybe their name is inside here, and we'll see what other products they used. We're going to open it up. It's like Christmas here. So we have Betty Weisbrick, Weisbrick from Minnesota. Okay, Betty Weisbrick from Minnesota. She did this paper of all the stuff that she used. So in the moment, stamp set with Knight of Navy. Oh, I love this fold. This fold is just gorgeous fold. So she has the angles. She has the triangle angle here. And then she has this flap here. Gorgeous, gorgeous fold. And then looks like lots of layers. You wouldn't believe how heavy this card is and how many layers are going on. So over here, she has this whole piece of that embossed background, see in the Knight of Navy. And then she, this is the boho blue color. And then she has the boho blue ribbon. Not sure she, yeah, boho blue ribbon down here. Textured weave ribbon. Wink of Stella on the glass of wine. Right? I mean, it's just unbelievable. This is Fresh Freesia blends. I love how that's colored. Here, Cherry Cobbler Blends. That must be for the wine. It's the Cherry Cobbler Blends. The Pool Party back here. This is just gorgeous coloring. And if just to show you how gorgeous the coloring is, look what you start with. This is what you start with right here, this picture. I mean, this is a work of art. So I really like the fold, and I like... And it is in the artistic expression part of the catalog as well. And I like how she has the sentiment in here. You're always so good to others. Be good to yourself, too. And this is Countryside in that paper. And that is also on sale. So just to let you know, if you're interested, all these, I'm going to tell you what's on sale. 15% off. This one, bright and beautiful, Countryside in, delightfully eclectic. Uh, this one, Earth and Elegance, Fresh as a Daisy, Glorious Gingham. Inks Botanicals, Let's Go Fishing, Le Shops. Masterfully Made, Stargazing, Zoo Crew, not these ones over here, and Hello Irresistible. So those are the 13 packs of paper that are on sale for the month of June. So please check those out. Awesome. I love this. All right, so speaking of, so again, we're just giving credit. Betty, good job. Speaking of Earth and Elegance, we'll just, I saw one made with that. It's actually the Ink Botanicals, but it was made with the Earth and Elegance stamp set. So we will go back here to the Earth and Elegance, find out where that's at in the index here. Earth and, or Earth and Textures, it's called, page 71. And then it's the Ink Botanicals paper. And I am using some of this paper for two of my card clubs cards this month, along with the Countryside In paper. Those are the two kinds of paper we're using for the card club this month. So I'm always going to be changing things up a bit, like every time. With fresh new products and designs, and my kits are pretty fun. So just look at my offerings in the description of this video, and you'll find them. This is from Dawn Stock. Okay, Ohio. Dawn Stock in Ohio. Cool. Oops. This is, these, these envelopes are very sticky. Ooh, nice job, Dawn. Look at that. She did a gatefold card. And what I really like about the gatefold card is that she used as your flap this nice new nested labels. I've been using that for, from using that for one of my upcoming swaps. These are called the nested, nested labels dies. Really cool dies. So I've been using the heck out of them. I'm using them for a couple of my projects coming up. And I just love those dies. It's a new thing. They're, they're standalone dies. Here it is. Nested Essentials. I just had to make sure I get the name right. Not Nested Labels. It's called Nested Essentials. See, the N in the catalog stands for new. These are $34, and you get 12 dies. And they do the stitching. This dies, there's lots of stitching there for you. So I really like this. I like how she did a gatefold. I like the very vanilla inside pool party. And then all these extra layers of inked botanicals. And this is really heavy duty. Okay, but then she also used, that's why I opened to this page, she didn't use the Earthen Textures paper. She used, or the Earthen, sorry, Earthen Elegance paper because it's part of the Earthen Elegance, but she did use the stamp set from here. And this is one of our few stamp sets we have in Spanish. So I like how she did that too. So that makes it really nice. We have some variety here. 
like that. Cool. All right, let's put that off here. Let's see what we have. Growth takes time. Okay, these are both that Countryside Inn, but with different stamp sets. I'm thinking that's that same one. I'm thinking Regency. Let's go see, because we're curious, right? I'm sure you're curious, too. And if you're not, you just get to follow my quirkiness. Nope, it's not. It's called Regency. Let's see. Perfectly. I thought it was called Regency Park. Sentimental Park. There it is, Sentimental Park. 36. Close. It had a park in it. I had this one forever so briefly and gave it away. All right, here we go. Yep, I was, I was right with the flowers, I think. This is the one. So the Petal Park... See, that's Petal Park, this one. And then the one from earlier, this might be Petal, yep, Petal Park. I was wondering about that earlier. Remember, I was saying it's something, I kept calling it Regency. I think that's because Regency Park might have been the name of the paper that recently retired. That might be where I come up with that name. Let's put the monkeys over there because we'll do monkeys later. All right, so we have a couple things made with, oh, and by the way, if somebody could find out what this one's from or let me know what this one's from because I'm not sure at all and I didn't even know where to even look. Okay, hello, Caroline Babcock. Nice to see you. Hello, Lisa, again. Nice to see you. We're going to open this one. Oh, Anna Hellman, and she, I got one of her cards, too, which is nice, and I subscribe to her newsletter, which she has really cool ideas. I don't subscribe to many newsletters, but I do, because I get so much email, but I do subscribe to hers, and I like, I like when people give me their, you know, Updated blogs and stuff, blog posts. I do watch a lot of videos, though. I'm trying to make sure I open this without ripping it. Oh, wow, that smells so good, too. I like the smell. It's like the mint smell just came out of the bag. That's really cool. So we got a couple York peppermint patties in there. Love the window box. I love the fold of this box. This is really classy. So maybe we'll have to case this project. Because this, this to me, would make a great craft fair project because you could, like, sit it like that. And you could, like, let people, like, take a look at what's inside. Because everybody always asks you at Craft Fairs, what's inside your box? What's in there? So I usually have, like, a little hot dog tray with, like, all the stuff in the box. But they still keep asking you what's in the box. And I like the little window box. Super cute. Love this fold. Super cute. All right. Oh, actually, I don't even have to, I don't even have to go look it up. It's all right here. So Anna Hellman. See, this is what I mean by her stuff is useful. So this is nice. She already put like this, this paper and the, where you score and where you cut. All right. So we're going to have to case the project now that we have all the instructions. There you go. My new favorite project of the night. Every night I have a favorite project. So that's my favorite. I haven't even seen the others yet, but I'm going to say it's my favorite because of the great. Oops. Let's get rid of that because of the nice, like full, something different. All right. Anna Hellman, good job. All right, let's see what this is. This is, oh, by the way, that was that same Countryside Inn paper. I'm just going to close that for a second. See if anybody comes up with what the name of that one was. Oops, it's very much of a glare over here. So we'll put the cards over there so you can look at them. These are the ones we have left, and then I have some other surprises and stuff. We're going to do this one next. It is from Candy Rat Ray. Candy Rat Ray. Okay. And she even put her demonstrator number on there. Interesting. <laughs> cool. Oh, because we were all demonstrators, because that's why we are demonstrators, like we were trading with other demonstrators. Okay, I'm just making sure, like before, I want to check out how it opens. This is super cute. It's like a little clutch. Okay. I had one of these the other day that I couldn't figure out how to open, but I guess, and then in the end, I just had to untie it. I don't know if you recall when I had <laughs> one of the swaps I was trying to open. Did, did I find any new on it? So Bpre, so Bpre is asking, did I find any new online exclusives on my trip? We we get to, there's an online exclusives coming out in July and during the month of June, all the demonstrators get to order them, but that's all I get to see is the same ones you get to see for July. But however, and, and I will say however, that we got to see things from the holiday catalog coming up. They weren't online exclusives, they were like holiday Catalog. There are holiday catalog exclusives coming up in July, but I mean, we got to see, they didn't show us the actual holiday catalog or like the 
catalog coming up. Oh, that's really nice. Candy, Candy, put this in there. Wildflower blend shade area. Easy to plant. <gasps> this is so cute. And it's still, we still time. It's still spring. We can plant this. It's like really thick. So I'm not sure what, the, it's like a seed bed or some kind. So tomorrow we're going to get on this. Although the deer have been eating all of our beans and our, like most of our garden is already gone. The deer ate it, but this is still cool. We can still time to maybe plant this. And it matches. I really like how she got something that completely matched the boho blue idea. Growth takes time. That's that's adorable. Anyway, countryside in paper. So back to, um, okay, wonderful thoughts. Thank you. Page 41. Carolyn's on it with the thing. And hello, Cheryl. Nice to see you. You guys are on it, so you got my next thing going so I can keep the flow going. We're going to open up to this while I'm talking. So anyway, we don't know what the online excuses are. After July, we just know what the July ones are. But I do get to see the holiday catalog. There's going to be a polar bear. There's going to be um, like a nice tree, paper. So there's like lots of cool stuff coming up in the in the new, I won't call it holiday catalog, but the, in the catalog coming up, like maybe in September, I think it comes out. All right, this is beautiful embossing photo. All right, so I think I have this. Maybe I don't have this. I have the other one. I have I have charming sentiments. And I think I... Wanting to, I've been wanting to get this, but maybe I didn't get this yet. If I have this, I need to do what she did and emboss it because this just came out so classy. I'm going to take this out of the package so you can see this. Okay, here, let's see who made this. Karen Barber from Ohio. Okay, Karen Barber from Ohio. Look at this. It's in, I don't know if you can see that, but it's embossed. It's, that's why it's so classy. That's why it's like if you were to just stamp in black ink, it wouldn't be so thick and so nice. And that's why it just like stood out to me how beautiful that is. And she even used, I didn't even know that we had that stitched. I didn't know that the scalloped contour dies, maybe these aren't the scalloped contour dies. Maybe these are another set of dies because there's like an actual stitching around the scallop and then there's like a stitching inside, like a little window stitching. So now I'm kind of curious as to which dies those are. Kind of like, have to have them. Anyway, but this is cute. Little flowers are gorgeous. I love the way she colored these flowers with the blends. They're just gorgeous, like, ton tonation here from the light to dark blends. This is a very professional-looking card. And lemon lime twist, and then she put fresh freesia in the middle, I mean, on the inside, and then she put that embossing folder. All right, so I'm just going to real quick see... If there's any new dyes that I'm missing that have scallops on them. I'm looking. No, it's not those. Maybe one of you guys will tell me. if, Because like, I didn't think the scallop contour dyes do this with the extra stitching. I have the scallop contour dyes and use them all the time, but I didn't notice. And I also didn't notice like where this rectangle came from. Okay, timeless arrangements doesn't have a scallop. Sometimes I just miss things, and I'm like, I want it. See, I have these. Maybe it is that one, but I don't. Doesn't it? Doesn't look like this. It looks like a double stitching in there. So I don't know where that one came from. But here is the embossing folder. It's called Countryside Blossoms Embossing Folder. Love that. Okay, and I love the seed from, like we said, from Candy. And I wanted to put this back in Candy's package. Actually, I'm going to leave it out because I want to. I'm going to use the seeds, so we're going to put leave that one out for a moment. We still have a couple more left. Okay, this one's Karen Barber. Where did hers go? See, I've already lost her card here. Let's put this. Let's put this one away. I love this card. And sometimes, like just using white, is is an elegant way to go. You know, just using white. All right, so we are up to Monkey Builder. You know how much I love the monkeys. This is so cute. So oh, that was here, Lasting Label. That's what that one was, by the way, guys. This punch, Lasting Label Punch. I am learning so much because each time you look at the catalog, you see something new. Monkey Builder, page 52. And sometimes you got to see how things are used just to like see if you want them, like how they're used. So here we have the Monkey Builder. I love the... Banana Laffy Taffy, that's so creative. Just swinging by to say hi. Uh, she used the Wild Wheat. Okay, let's see who did this one here. 
Lola Wrist. Okay? So for Montana. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, let's see if it's embossed. No, it's wild wheat. So it's the in color paper. And and that looks like the same color that's in the inside of the monkey there. The little banana and the banana luffy taffy. Super cute with a little topper. Love the monkey builder. So you can get the monkey stamp set and the monkey builder punch to punch out the cute. You punch out one of the monkeys, this one. Wait, let's see. Yeah, this one. You can always tell which one punches out because it's outlined. Like these are not outlined and that one's outlined in white. A little shadow around it showing you which one the punch punches out. That's super cute. And then this one is from the fancy something. I know what this one is. I want to say something fancy because I, I have that. Or I did have that. No, I still have it. I have the dies. Not sure if I gave away my stamp set. So was it is going to be something, something fancy dies. Here, something fancy, page 34. By the way, something fancy, those of you that saw my little purses that I used that I cased off of the other project, I used the something fancy dies for this little clutch, this little clutch part on these little purses. That seems something fancy. Okay, it says, coordinates with something fancy, stamp set, page 34. So that's maybe where we get this belated birthday card. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so it says, I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration. So let's open this one. This one's really heavy duty too. Lola Wrist is a really nice card. All right, so we have the twine and the sprigs and the layering going on here. Gorgeous layering. Oh, she even embossed the piece of designer series paper with like the time-worn text embossing folder. And she put the basic white inside. This is pretty peacock color. And I love all the extra sprigs and layering. And she likes using brush breast butterflies as well. I really love how she tied the linen thread in there. That's a heavy card. And a heavy card shows that means there's lots of layers on the card. Simply gorgeous. Gorgeous card. All right, so that was the swaps. Now let's talk about some happy mail. So do not go away because we have some cool stuff coming. All right. Today in the mail, my team member, Linda, who's here right now, Linda Huffman, Stamp, Cut, and Create, she sent me this little... I just, I just put a little gem there for it to stand up. This cute little note card holder or note like sticky note holder easel there's probably a name for it in the package somewhere but it's like an a note card an easel note card holder and it's really cute and i just stood it up like that so you could see it because we're having a product showcase this saturday coming up and my product showcase for my team is zany zoo so my team members are helping me and some are even bringing projects along with them to the event and those that kind of come to the event are sending these ahead of time. So isn't that cute? And then she sent this really adorable little box too that I was going to stuff with some treats. It was sent flat, but I assembled it. And I'll be t using the ribbons too to tie it on. So something great to celebrate you on the inside. Black cardstock and then the Zany Zoo designer series paper. This is, again, one of the papers that's on sale right now. And she used the ribbon that coordinates with Zany Zoo. And then she also created a card for our bingo event, which we're having June 23rd. It's live on Zoom. So this is one of the cards we're making. So thank you, Linda, for all your really, really fun happy mail for Zany Zoo. And I can see your style all the way through it all. I like the vellum here and extra little pieces. Super cute. Love, love, love. All right, so now we're ready for some swag. Go on a trip to on the cruise, right? And they gave us, so Stampin' Up! bought us this drink pass. So you use your card and you can get not any alcohol drinks, but it was like specialty drinks. So they gave us each a cup to put our drinks in, but I didn't use my cup because they have cups for you everywhere you go. Not paper cups. I mean, they have like actual plastic cups that they wash. So but this is really cool. So the cruise ship was called Anthem of the Sea Royal Caribbean. So we were able to get like milkshakes if we wanted or Starbucks coffee. It took me like three days to find out that there was Starbucks coffee on the list. I was like, what? How did I not know this? All right, so some swag. So every day you go in and you could spin the wheel. So I want to show you some things that I got from spinning the wheel. 
there's, and there's some swag. Okay? Swag, swag, swag. And then I'm going to show you Nor some Norway gifts. Some, I'll even show you some Norway money. Okay. Let's see. We go, we walk in, and they gave us, the first swag was, they gave us this in a box. It was like a sweater and some, and some um, let's see, like socks and this really cool rolling pin that's still here. I could show you, like specialty rolling pin. So they gave us like swag before the trip even started. A sweater that I wore all the time. And if you check my Instagram page, I'm in the sweater like almost every single day. <laughs> I mean, like in all my videos, I'm in that sweater. But this is a really beautiful cookie maker sort of rolling pin. So Stampin' Up! like treated us really nice and they sent us this really cool stuff before we went. And then they gave us the name tag and I, I kept my pin on my name tag. They gave us this one, which is a phone case. I'm going to grab an extra phone to show you how it works. I keep, I keep all my old phones, okay? So anyway, it works like this. So you go, you, and I was really happy to have this phone case because... We, like, I was afraid every time you take a picture, like, that my phone was going to fly over the side of the ship or something, I was going to lose it. Isn't that neat? So you can put your room key in here, and then you can put this around your neck. So I really, really like this phone case. And I've been, I was using it, like, the whole trip just so I wouldn't lose my phone. And so when you drop my phone over the edge when I was taking videos and stuff. So that's how that phone case works. Now, not everybody got the same swag. This is a dish towel. My mom was so nice and ironed it for me because it was all wrinkled from the trip. But I'm going to keep this in my craft, in my she shed. So you get to spin the wheel and either pick something if you get on one of the colors or you just get whatever they give you. If, you're, if you get the color it says, then you pick whatever prize. These are some swag. One day I got these coasters. So these are really nice Stampin' Up! coasters. And they're, they're made of felt. I know, aren't, these, aren't this cool swag? So a little set of coasters. Super nice felt coasters. And, of course, that goes with, like, sort of, like, the nice Norwegian thing, and it keeps, keeps the um, moisture away from your cup. Okay, what else do we have? I know I have more swag because I had a whole bucket to show you. Oh, I gave my brother a little horse, so I let him spin because the first day we went to the thing, to the room, it's called a hospitality suite. They let us spin. Oh, this is one of my swag. This is, you can't really see it, but this is, this is a, it's a Stampin' Up!, sticker so it's one of the things so the first time we went to the the room they said you can spin and you can have two spins because we didn't open the hospitality suite the first day so they said you can have two spins so i let my brother spin and he got this little cute wooden norwegian horse like norwegian folk art horse so he kept that as a memento of his trip this is one of my sweat and this is one i was going to share so then every day you go in so it was a seven day cruise so the first day the first two days is i got something he got something and then i got five more things one the sticker was one, two, three, four, and the phone case. And then there was one, there, I'm sure there was one more thing, but now I can't remember. I can't find it. But this is cool. Or maybe they didn't let us do it the last day, but this is a nice Stampin' Up! mug that I got one day. So that is my swag. Very nice of Stampin' Up! to do that. And then I just want to show you a couple more things. So I went to this little, they're really obsessed with um, trolls all around town. In this last town we went to, there were like everywhere you went, there were like little troll, troll statues and things. So that's my bag. I saved the bag that the souvenirs came in, and I got a few moose pens. Um, this one's for my. I already gave one to my husband, and I got one for my neighbor. Little, little moose magnet, little moose pen, and then I paid with my. Coroner, my Norwegian coroner, and I saved it because I just thought this money is so cool. It has a lighthouse on it and like holograms everywhere. I mean, like, I mean, like shiny hologram things, such cool money. And one of the money, one of the, one of the things had a Viking thing on it. Here it is. Look how cool this is with the Viking ship on the money. So I totally love, I love this Norwegian money. I saved some. So I'll put, I'll clean it. You just clean the, when you get money, you clean it with jewelry cleaner. So that's how you. You know, clean it. And then I got my husband this shot glass. He's already seen it, but I went and took it to show you. But um, I'm going to put it back by the bar. Isn't that cool? Viking ship. It just looks like really neat looking shot glass. So you got the Viking ship, the moose with the Norway flag and Norway up there. And then a Viking king. Another. Oh, that's the same Viking ship. So that's nice. Okay, little Viking thing. So then also, so there's just souvenirs. 
of Norway. And then when I was in England, I already showed you that I got, or when I was in England, I got Swiss chocolate and then I got some Royal Blend teas. These are going in my making, not my making takes, uh, some little Cersei's I'm making, little thank you gifts. They're all getting this beautiful tea, this beautiful packaging. I got, I got a bunch of these. This is a mug that my upline Hattie gave me. Okay, it's really nice. And it's the color of our beehive color. So by the way, those of you that are in the paper chefs and the beehive, we do have a team meeting tomorrow for the beehive. Paper chefs have their meetings on the second of the month and beehive has their meetings on the first Sunday of the month. So if you belong to my team, you actually belong to two different teams and you can go to two different Zoom meetings and they're doing mystery stamping at that meeting. But anyway, Hattie gave me this mug. It's really cool. All right, and the other thing I wanted to show you is something I think was really neat. And I, I thought I had it out here. It's called an air tag. Yeah. If you want to get air tags, if you don't know what these are, I just the first time I ever used them was on this trip. I'm pretty techie, but I never used them before until this trip. So I did put a link in the description of this video. I am an Amazon affiliate, Amazon influencer. So if you do get something, I do get credit or like a small commission if you get something from my link. But this is an air tag, and you can buy a pack of four of these and put them in your backpacks and your luggage and track everywhere they go at all times. It's so amazing. And your luggage gets taken off the ship the night before, and you can find out if it's still down in the warehouse, and you can find out if the luggage made it onto the plane. You can track, and you can even, like, if say you're a mother and you want to track your children, like put this in their backpack or something and track your children's backpacks as well. Sew them into their clothes. I, I, I'm not, they're not waterproof or anything, but I'm just saying you could like sew them in and take them out before you wash them. So this is, it works off Bluetooth. So of course the device is always pinging to when there's Bluetooth devices nearby. It's not always, it's pinging, but it doesn't always pick up a signal. So, but then it's kind of like you use the find my phone type of app to find that. All right. So I hope you enjoyed all of these swaps from this three part series. And after I attend the event next weekend, I'm going to have even more swaps to show you. So that's going to even be more fun. Thank you all for watching. Have a great evening. This is the Paper Chef. We'll see you again real soon.